Alright, so welcome back. Uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. So um, I'm going to try to scrape um, something from the web, so more specifically uh, with all the uh, cryptocurrencies increasing in popularity. And um, I found a cool site that give that lists everything uh, cryptocurrencies. So these are all the coins. You could go to Coin Market Cap. I, it, it seems to me that it's increasing in popularity. Um, but what I did notice is that if you click, say, Bitcoin, they list historical data, which is nice. Click on historical data, and then it gives you this table here. Pull and save it. So what I'm going to do is go to the calendar here and click all time and it lists everything from, I think it's, well, since 2013, uh, April 28th up to now. So scroll back up here. Now I tried this uh, various ways, but the best one I've seen so far is if you go to um, our bloggers, they have a cool um, little tutorial on how to scrape um, tables basically from the web. Um, I'm more interested in this, this function here. So if you go ahead and click this, or highlight this. And copy it onto our studio. So then we're gonna need the URL. So if you go to Coin Market Cap, make sure this this page is open. Down to um, you want to highlight all, and then copy this link here and paste it. Replace it with the URL they give us. Cap. And then um, let's open up Arvest. So then, um, what what we need is the X path here. So what I did was in my Google Chrome browser, um, click or right click, and put uh, view page source. Actually, my bad. It's not that one. You uh, right click and put inspect. You should open up this here. Now we're interested in the in the table, so so you might want to scroll down here. And once you see it, highlight the area that you wish to basically download. I'm gonna right click it again. Uh, go to copy, copy X path, and then minimize this. Replace this X path. And then paste. And now let's see if let's see if it opens. So URL and then run it again. And it should give us population. Um, let's see what is this error? Table is not true. A different X path. I don't know why it gave me that error. Replace it. It's the same thing. Um, put a dash here and put table. Okay, so now let's run it again. And it's running. So now it did return. Uh, the list here as a list. So what we're more interested in is that we actually let's take a look at it population. So you see here that it returned the whole what we actually wanted. So now 
let's, create, let's turn it into a a data frame. I think it's a data frame. Here, it's a data frame. So now we have um, basically what what we wanted. All right. So I hope this helped out. Um, you can to change the coin that you actually want to download. Um, if you go to um, uh, you see that the only thing that actually does change I mean you could keep using the same URL um, down to if you select all again this coin um, so you just replace this in your URL with the one that you actually want to download and um, you can save all the coins if you do this properly. Alright, so I hope this helped out. And if you have any questions, let me know. Alright, thanks.